Today, a large complex of buildings can be secured with very little manpower. An unauthorized entry through a locked door is immediately known. An alarm sounded and security forces dispatched quietly, efficiently, and with a minimum of confusion. The same technology that quietly dispatches the guard keeps this noisy paper machine running and producing consistently high quality paper 24 hours a day. It checks people in and checks steel out. It controls a large plastic injection molding press and manipulates a tiny micro circuit rework machine. It can freeze a shock wave or help run a textile mill. It can automatically feed operational data into your database used in planning, accounting, and management information systems. It can even test several of its own kind simultaneously on the assembly line. It's called System 7 from IBM, a compact, powerful system with a cycle time measured in billionths of a second, designed to work for you where things are happening, where the action is. Our nation has experienced unprecedented productivity growth in this century, and management is constantly under pressure to keep it growing. Consumers demand new products, faster delivery, higher quality, better service. Technology gives us new tools and often new complexities. But increasing productivity isn't simply a matter of applying new technologies or working harder or faster. It involves an interaction between technology and humanity. It requires better management, faster reaction to change, extensive planning, more rapid access to data, and more understanding of processes in order to control them better. A giant step in helping to set the pace of this century has been the computer. And one of the most exciting applications of computer technology has been in the operational environment, where products are developed, produced, packaged, warehoused, and shipped. IBM's System 7 is one of the newest and most sophisticated systems of this type available today. It can be used to record job status as part of your overall shop floor control procedures. It can monitor machines and control them. Where human control is to be retained, the system can be used to help guide the operator because sensors can be attached where people can't even see. Sensors on this plastic injection molding press are used by System 7 to monitor and control critical functions like mold cavity pressure and material flow in real time. Data is captured and fed to the computer instantly, and the process is controlled to the exact tolerances required with accuracy that would be humanly impossible. This helps reduce scrap and increases periods of continuous operation which both lead to increased productivity. The cycle is repeated over and over again on many machines, different parts, different types of machines, all with the same System 7. Another product of this fast-moving era, a durable, high-quality part produced with very little direct labor. When you have a system capable of executing nearly two million instructions per second, you can get a lot of work done. That's what this sensor-based System 7 is all about. Not plastics, but capturing data as it happens, accurately and putting it to work for you. It's about problem solving and growth in a planned, orderly manner. There are many problems businesses face today. IBM System 7 may not solve them all, but it can start helping you address these and many other areas now and grow as you need it to grow. It's not a mini computer. It's a total system designed to satisfy your requirements for years to come without the need to retrain in a couple of years because your specifications or objectives change. You can start small with an independent standalone system. You can expand it gradually and can distribute multiple systems 
for complex businesses. And you can tie System 7 to a larger IBM computer. It can be connected directly or via teleprocessing to a System 360, 370, or 1130. It can also attach via teleprocessing to an 1800 or System 3, or interchange disk data with a System 3. This means that the larger system can supply a multitude of different programs to different System 7s. You can also immediately integrate captured data directly into the system used to help manage your business in a timely manner to analyze the data and produce management reports without interrupting the function of System 7 and without the delays associated with paperwork like handwritten reports and key punched inputs. The data will be more accurate and more complete Every System 7 has a processor module which contains main memory and controls the system, performing data processing operations and issuing instructions to the input-output modules, the basic building blocks of the system. Engineered to be where the action is, out in the area where it's needed, that's why the processor and input-output modules are packaged this way, an especially designed enclosure that provides self-contained power supplies and signal distribution. If necessary, it can be structured to operate in extreme industrial environments. Input-output modules give you the capability to grow a system easily. Several models of disk storage are available for auxiliary storage. Some feature removable disk packs to provide you with virtually unlimited offline storage capacity. The sensor-based input-output modules provide you with analog and digital connections to tackle any size job. You can configure a system as small as one input-output module with a processor and an operator station. System 7 can also be an intelligent controller for a variety of terminals for collecting and communicating information to and from the operational end of your business. And here's a new custom product that reads magnetic stripe cards to collect time and attendance information. The optional clock connects to your master time system. System 7 provides you with a versatile interface for analog and digital signals with these simplified termination cards. Wires from the existing instrumentation and sensing circuits are easily attached to screw down terminals and the cards are plugged into the system. These cards greatly simplify the process of getting information into the computer and commands back out to a machine. Signals can be assigned to different priority levels and System 7 can switch from servicing one priority level to another automatically. A sensor can be a very simple device. Essentially, any instrument that generates information which can be converted into an electrical signal. Here, an instrument is counting pieces as they pass by rapidly and keeping track of the proper number for each order, thus eliminating overshipment and improving inventory control. Capturing data when it happens Capturing data fast and giving you the answers fast, that's what it's all about. Sensors connected to the shock table feed the information to System 7 at the point in time of impact. The microsecond of drama is captured and analyzed. From this knowledge, better packaging will be developed and even better testing procedures. That might be a little hard on the ears, but it's just another illustration of the versatility of System 7 hardware and that's only part of our story. A powerful computer becomes meaningful only when you can put it to productive use. And we've tried to make that much easier for you in many ways. We designed System 7 to adapt to your present operation with minimum disruption by reducing your interfacing job to the simplest possible form, that of running wires from the sensors to the system, so that your wiring won't have to be changed when your priorities change we provided the capability to assign input-output priorities by programming. Programming, the instructions you give the system to make it work for you, precisely the way you want it to. We have a large selection of system programs that help you do this, especially in the area of sensor-based input-output signals. Most of these allow you to generate your application programs on a larger or host system, so you can configure your System 7 as lean as possible to have only th those features needed for the execution of its job, and yet have high-level programming languages available. This helps reduce the time required to translate the idea of what you want to do into an operational productive system. 
Even more important in the long run, use of another system to compile your programs minimizes interference with production when you make enhancements. These are some of the system programs available. There are more, and each has a specific purpose, so you can select what you need, what will help you the most. For instance, the application program generator features a fill-in-the-blanks facility for specifying systems configurations and assignments. A high-level procedural language is also included to enable you to write program statements in a familiar terminology. This allows application engineers to concentrate on the job to be done rather than on programming. Beyond that, IBM is dedicated to producing useful application packages and productivity aids that can significantly reduce your programming tasks. IBM field personnel and our customers developed many of these for all our systems, and the list keeps growing. The programs available from these libraries address a wide range of application areas from the traditional laboratory monitoring to innovative solutions for apartment complex monitoring and touchtone order entry. And that's just the beginning of IBM support story. Education for your personnel is available. And if you desire, we can provide systems engineering services to help you plan your installation and get it up and running. If you choose to rent System 7, you can use it around the clock at no extra charge. And you can call for field engineering service anytime you need it. It's truly a total system. And we are confident it can help you decrease your total project cost and increase your return on investment. Now, let's review an event that occurred during the 45th Annual Academy Award presentations. On March 27, 1973, Consolidated Film Industries of Hollywood and IBM shared an Academy Award for technical achievement. The two companies developed a technique for using a computer to improve the reliability and efficiency of balancing colors in films made for theater and television viewing. Mr. Sidney P. Solo, president of Consolidated Film Industries, said, the average movie viewer knows that scenes often have to be shot several times to get the right combination of acting, lighting, and other effects. What isn't known is that miles and miles of otherwise good film is lost during printing and processing because of a color imbalance or error. With the new technique, Consolidated Film Industries estimates it is able to preserve and use more than one million feet of film each year that previously would have been scrapped. The computer used in this process is an IBM System 7. We have often seen that what appears to be the best operating performance under ideal conditions before installing a System 7 becomes average performance using one properly. We can help show you how. Your processes, procedures, tools, and business objectives aren't static. They are dynamic, constantly subject to change. System 7 was designed from its inception to adapt to your changes. It's more than a controller, more than a mini computer. It's an instrument for improvement and understanding. It's a complete, coordinated system structured with state-of-the-art technology and a high level of integrity. It's a system designed to be where your action is.